I want to thank Alex for this question, which um, I'm sure will take quite a lot of time, but we don't have it. If God exists, what gender is she? <laughs> but the last one I'm going to pose, because time has gone, is from Sam McConnell addressed to each of you. What if you're wrong? Mike. Well, if I'm wrong about anything, you know, then I'm wrong. I mean, it's not a big deal, you know. If, if, if you, what you do is you go through life assessing uh, the reality that you're faced with based on the evidence that's before you. And if something emerges that shows that you're wrong, you just go, yeah, fair enough, I'm wrong. But what I won't do if I'm wrong, which is what some religious people do, is, is if, I, if I'm faced with, with challenges to uh, my, my beliefs, I won't start you know, praying that I'm right, and I won't start trying to convince myself that I'm right uh, in, in the face of evidence that, that I'm wrong. And it is, it is the key difference between uh, a, a, a rational approach and a faith-based approach is to follow the evidence rather than seek to justify what you already believe. Thank you. David, yeah, what if you're wrong? If I'm wrong, then I think something like what Michael says must be right. And if that's true, then I think that means that ultimately there is no, there's no ultimate meaning and purpose and significance for my life, and when I die, that will be it. But I'd also like to just steal a few brief words that if Michael's wrong, I think the consequences are much more significant. Because if there's a God and there is ultimate purpose in life, and our purpose is to know this God, to know the source of love and goodness and mercy, then if Michael's wrong, he misses out on the very purpose of his existence. Well, just since that was addressed to me, <laughs> as, uh, for, I, I don't think I'm missing out on anything, but, but I'll I, I leave the last word to, on, on that issue to the great theologian Homer Simpson. Uh, <laughs> When Marge was trying to get him to go to church one Sunday, said, uh, said, but Marge, what if we've picked the wrong religion? Every week we're just making God matter and matter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking part, and I want you to now express your uh, appreciation of our speakers in the customary way. Thank you. But once again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with us, uh, and uh, thank you to David, to Michael, and to Stephen uh, for this fascinating evening, showing that it is possible to have a healthy debate and discussion and carry out in, in such a good humour and such a fine spirit, and thank you for that. So thank you to you all again, thank you to yourselves for being with us. Uh, please, uh, there's no need to, to rush away. Uh, tea and coffee is served out, outside. There's quite a crowd here, so we need to be patient with one another. Uh, and there'll be an opportunity, no doubt, to speak uh, with either uh, David or, or, or Michael uh, at the end, or anyone else that you would choose to speak to. So just remains for me to, once again, on your behalf, say a very big thank you to all three gentlemen for this evening. Thank you so much.